Have you ever wondered about the world's largest amphibian and how it's farmed? Welcome to the intriguing world of salamander farming, with a special focus on the giant salamander, a creature that holds the record as the world's largest amphibian. These fascinating beings, which can grow up to a length of nearly six feet, are found in the wild in places like China and Japan. But they are not just limited to their natural habitats, they are farmed too. Yes, you heard it right. There are farms dedicated to the breeding and raising of these giant salamanders. But why, you might ask, and how? These are questions that we'll delve into as we explore the captivating realm of giant salamander farming. So, if you're ready for an adventure into the world of these amazing creatures, then you're in the right place. Stick around to learn more about these fascinating creatures and the intriguing world of salamander farming. Before we dive into the world of farming, let's take a closer look at these unique amphibians. Giant salamanders are truly fascinating creatures with two main varieties that steal the spotlight, the Chinese and the Japanese giant salamanders. The Chinese giant salamander, known as the largest living amphibian, can reach up to six feet in length. They're known for their wrinkled skin and broad, flat heads. On the other hand, the Japanese giant salamander, though slightly smaller, is equally captivating with its unique spotted skin. These salamanders aren't just impressive in size, but they also boast a long lifespan, living up to several decades in their natural habitats. These habitats typically include freshwater streams, rivers, and lakes nestled in the midst of lush, forested landscapes. But here's where it gets interesting. These amphibians aren't just found in the wild. They're also farmed, which might seem unusual at first glance. Now that you know what giant salamanders are, you might be wondering why and how they are farmed. The farming of giant salamanders is a practice that might seem unusual, but it serves several purposes. Let's dive into the why and how of this intriguing aspect of animal farming. At the heart of salamander farming are three core reasons, conservation, research, and yes, you guessed it, culinary purposes. Conservation is paramount as many species of salamanders are threatened or endangered, primarily due to habitat loss and pollution. Farming these amphibians allows us to increase their numbers in a controlled environment, helping to maintain biodiversity and potentially reintroduce them into the wild. Research is another key aspect. Salamanders are fascinating creatures, with some species possessing the ability to regenerate lost limbs. Scientists farm salamanders to better understand these regenerative powers, with the hope that such knowledge could be applied to human medicine in the future. And then, there's the culinary angle. In some parts of the world, particularly in East Asia, salamanders are considered a delicacy. Farming them provides a sustainable source of this unique cuisine while also reducing the pressure on wild populations. Now let's get into the how of salamander farming. It all starts with the larvae. These tiny beings are raised in carefully controlled environments with specific temperatures and lighting conditions to mimic their natural habitats. They're fed a diet of small invertebrates, and as they grow, their meals get proportionally bigger. Once they mature into adults, maintaining the health of salamanders becomes a little more complicated. These creatures require a lot of moisture, so their enclosures are kept damp. They also need plenty of hiding spots to feel secure. Regular health checks are crucial, as salamanders can be susceptible to various diseases. And that's the gist of it. From raising the larvae to caring for the adults, every step in salamander farming is meticulously managed to ensure the well-being of these fascinating creatures. Salamander farming is a complex process, and it can be even more challenging when dealing with different species. Not all salamanders are created equal, and this is especially true when it comes to farming. Let's dive deep into the world of salamander farming by taking a closer look at the different species that are farmed. Each comes with its unique characteristics and specific challenges. First on our list is the mud puppy. This charming species is known for its external gills that give it a somewhat alien appearance. The mud puppy's aquatic nature poses a unique challenge to farmers as they require a carefully controlled environment to thrive. Their water needs to be just the right temperature and the quality must be top-notch, free from harmful chemicals and pollutants. Next, we have the giant axolotl, a species native to Mexico with an incredible ability to regenerate its body parts. The axolotl's unique biology makes it a popular choice for scientific research, but it also creates a challenge for farmers. Axolotls need a diet rich in protein and they require a lot of care and attention to ensure healthy growth and regeneration. The third species on our list is the Ambistoma tigrinum. 
also known as the tiger salamander. This species is one of the largest terrestrial salamanders and is known for its striking patterns. Farming the tiger salamander can be tricky due to its burrowing nature. Farmers must provide an environment with plenty of substrates for burrowing and hiding and keeping track of these elusive creatures can be quite a task. Despite these challenges, salamander farming is a fascinating endeavor. Each species requires a unique approach, and farmers must adapt and innovate to ensure the health and well-being of these incredible creatures. Among all these species, there's one that stands out in terms of size and uniqueness, the hellbender salamander. But that's a story for another day. Stay tuned to learn more about this fascinating world of salamander farming. Meet the hellbender salamander, a creature that truly lives up to its name. This intriguing amphibian native to North America is a titan in the world of salamanders. With an average length of two feet, it's one of the largest salamanders on the planet. Their impressive size, however, is only one part of their allure. Hellbenders inhabit fast-flowing, oxygen-rich rivers and streams, a habitat that's quite different from their salamander cousins who prefer calmer waters. They've even earned the nickname Mud Puppy owing to their preference for hiding under large rocks and in the mud. Perhaps their most unique feature is their wrinkled, fleshy skin. While it might not win any beauty contests, this layer is instrumental in their survival, acting as a secondary respiratory surface where oxygen is absorbed directly into their bloodstream. Farming hellbenders, like any other species, presents its own set of challenges. Their need for cold, clean, oxygen-rich water means that environmental conditions must be precisely controlled. They're also known for their unique breeding habits, with males guarding the eggs in nests until they hatch, a behavior that requires careful monitoring. But the rewards of farming these giants are manifold. Beyond their fascinating biology, hellbenders play a crucial role in our ecosystems. They're indicators of water quality, meaning their health, directly reflects the health of our waterways. By farming hellbenders, we're not just cultivating an intriguing species, but also contributing to the preservation of our aquatic habitats. There's also the aspect of novelty. For enthusiasts and collectors, the hellbender salamander is a unique addition to their collection, their size and unique features, making them a standout among other amphibians. From the giant salamander to the hellbender, the world of salamander farming is as diverse as it is fascinating. And as we continue to explore and understand these amazing creatures, we're reminded of the intricate tapestry of life that thrives beneath the water's surface.